Hey friends of the channel, it is Friday, June 23rd, and as always, I have more MLB picks today, and I'm trying to turn $2 into $32,000, so make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for free MLB best bets each and every day, and while you're at it, smash that like button if you are ready for another winner today, just like yesterday's Giants Padres easy winner over eight and a half last night. So without further ado, let's dive into the matchup between the Milwaukee Brewers and the Cleveland Guardians. And the Brewers come to town in Cleveland tonight and find themselves one and a half games back of the Cincinnati Reds as the Reds have now won 11 straight to take the lead in the NL Central. Wade Miley is going to take the mound in an effort to get the Brewers back to winning after just going four and six over their last 10 games. Miley 4-2 on the season with a 3.28 ERA and a 1.09 whip. Now, he has had a little stint on the IL after his May 16th start versus the Cardinals, but in his first start back versus the Pirates last week, he was almost perfect, only giving up two hits in five innings of work. Overall, though, he has not been a dominant pitcher, and he does not strike out many hitters. And against a team like the Guardians, who strike out the second least in the majors, you would figure that the Cleveland Guardians tonight puts the ball in play and creates scoring opportunities. Now, speaking of those Guardians, they have now won four games in a row, and they are only one game back of the Minnesota Twins, and they will have their ace on the mound tonight, Shane Bieber. Bieber, 5-4 on the year, 3.51 ERA and a 1.22 whip. He's coming off a really rough start out in the desert. Last time against Arizona, he gave up five earned runs on seven hits, including three home runs in that loss to Arizona. Like Miley, Bieber's velocity is down this year, and he has had trouble striking out batters. In fact, he's only gone over 4Ks three times on the season. But the good news is the Brewers are the second worst offense in the majors, which is crazy given their record at the moment. Now, they do strike out also six most in the MLB, so who knows, Bieber might have a one-off game where he does have a little higher than four strikeouts. With the Guardians having one of the best bullpens in the league, though, you have to think the Guardians will keep this a low-scoring game. But, you know me, I actually think that the game tonight is going to be high scoring, and I'm going to be there at the game to watch this one up close. Bieber has not been Bieber this season, and I think that all starts with his velocity. In three of his last seven starts, he's given up five-plus runs, and I know all of those have come on the road, and at home he's 4-1 and one with an ERA under two, but just watching Bieber this season has given me doubts with him to make me think that he's not going to give up two to three runs at least tonight. And if you add in a Guardians bullpen that was used way too much in this series against the A's the past three days, I think the Guardians end up giving up some runs in the late innings as well. Now, the only person that could be used tonight out of the bullpen that's not going to be on back-to-back -back days or pitching in their third game on four nights would be Tim Heron. So the Guardians bats, they're going to put up some runs, and they have me also, as always, not trusting their pitching staff. So I'm going to take the Milwaukee Brewers and the Cleveland Guardians over eight runs today is my MLB best bet. Now that takes me to my streak bet where I'm trying to turn $2 into $32,000. Will I do it? Absolutely not. Yesterday, Max Kepler went one for four with another lonely single and we stay at day number one. 14 days, 14 MLB prop bets, one goal, $32,000. Today, I'm going to stay with that Guardians game since I'm going to be there, and I'm going to take Stephen Kwan over one and a half total bases. Kwan has a six-game hitting streak going into this one. He has hit safely in 11 of his 13 last games, and he's my bread and butter on this bet. And when he gets on base, they win, and I think the Guardians do pull out a win tonight. So let's go, Kwani. Start the game and get a lead-off double and just make this easy for me to put us on day number two. Now, feel free to join us and see if you both can't hit $32,000 together. Will we? Probably not, but still, fun to try in a summer that's only going to be filled with MLB action. In the meantime, sit back, relax, enjoy the start to your weekend tonight with all the MLB games going on. I'm going to go enjoy the Guardians and the Brewers, and I will see you back here tomorrow with another MLB Best Bet.